This morning, I have Francis Belito from Quantum Emotion. Francis, a great deal has happened in the last six months. Where do we start? Okay, well, a lot of things happened since uh, Christmas. Um, we we announced uh, many, many different things that actually were transformative uh, for the company. Uh, it, it started by actually, um, you know, talking about our progress in the space of um, healthcare, you know, that you know that our platform, uh, what we call CentriQ, um, was developed, you know, in fact, to secure other functional platforms that I use, for example, in digital therapeutics. Uh, this is very hot in the space of, uh, um, uh, you know, the, the new e-medicine, because the patients, more and more, particularly the ones who are suffering from a chronic disease, they now want it to be treated at distance. You know, they don't want to necessarily go to the hospital to do a follow up on their disease. They have chronic diseases, and the technology today can actually take care of the patient, even improve improve the, I would say, the treatment. You know, and the cost actually reduce you know dramatically the cost. So that's great progress. You know, uh, for healthcare system. The only problem is security, because when you're starting to treat now patients, you know, at distance, you need to have, uh, you know, an infrastructure that is secure. And that's unfortunately not the case. You know, still, we still a little bit in the jungle when it comes to security and particularly in healthcare. Um, I, I remind everybody that um, the, you know, patient health records are number one or number two asset that is the most stolen by cyber criminals uh, and the cost actually of every time that there is a, in fact a, a hack um, the average cost you know for the, the the you know the for the for the system you know for for the payers uh, can be up to 10 million dollars that's not me saying that it is a, the reports that actually specialize in uh, security. So this is one of the big, uh, you know, uh, announcement that we did. After that, uh, we announced also that uh, recently, for example, we, our design of our chip, in fact, the miniaturization of our technology, this is the, the process is, it doesn't change, you know, anything but miniaturizing it. But the miniaturization allows actually, for, you know, to basically, you know, bring, uh, that chip, you know, ultimately that chip will be, uh, you know, a, a, a chip that will be a sort of a universal, you know, defense system that could uh, autonomously, you know, take care of the defense of any device that uh, is uh, connected to the internet. This is the, the final goal of our, of our endeavor here. And um, that could be a, really a game changer for the company. So that's uh, something, uh, the huge, I think, uh, stride, you know, been, been made, I think, uh, since the, the past six months. And obviously, we also uh, attracted the attention of the investment world. Uh, I mean, six months ago, it was uh, before, I mean, in November, we had difficulties actually to, to raise, uh, you know, funds, you know, at, uh, at 10 cents, actually, there was the, the stock, you know, and uh, today, you know, I mean, uh, we, we have raised already two private placements, you know, with the significant success, you know, and we could do even more so if we wanted you know, right now. Well, I'm going to go ahead and draw some attention to you also opening an American office and hiring yeah, right. and announcing some significant players joining your team. How about Absolutely. we uh, get an update on that? How is it yes. going? And please tell us more. Thank you. So, yes, uh, I mean, um, it's exactly that. I thought we saw we, we saw an opportunity, you know, to open a subsidiary in, in, in the U.S., and particularly in California. Uh, Irvine, you, you consider today the area, the South California is considered today the second uh, Silicon Valley. <laughs> At least them, they call themselves like that, you know, maybe. Uh, but definitely there is a lot, a lot of technology companies, technology companies that have moved there. Um, and uh, it's, it is for us actually a great opportunity because 
this is what the kind of companies that we want to work with, you know, because they are very open to new technologies. Uh, they're embracing, obvious right now, they're embracing also anything that it's uh, quantum uh, technology. They see it as uh, the next the big revolution in, uh, in technology and science. So um, it's, it's a perfect place for us. And uh, uh, we put uh, at the head of the, of the subsidiary is uh, John Young, who is also, you know, also a board member of the company, but it's an ex-executive of IBM. And it's uh, considered as one of the, the great specialists in cybersecurity. You know, I mean, uh, he, all, he has all the certification you can imagine. You know, so he's, uh, he, he fall in love with the technology and uh, is an incredible advocate uh, for us. So, and uh, he's, uh, he's a very, also a very public uh, man to that are going to, to help us uh, tremendously in the U.S. This morning, you had a full house for investor talk. Yesterday, you had uh, 3.58 million in volume. Okay, so mm -hmm. you've got a lot, you're attracting a lot of interest right now. Some of the mm -hmm. questions that were asked that I'd love for you to touch on was, are you planning on uplisting into NASDAQ? And talk to us about revenue. Uh, and when do you plan on becoming cash flow positive? Thank you. So yes, we are planning to that we consider actually, and it's 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 part of the I would say the plan of the company to go that it's just a matter of choosing the right moment to do it, you know, and uh, but we definitely consider that you know uh, we just have to be ready. The company has gone through a lot of changes in the past few months. Uh, we hiring a lot of uh, new people. We we staffing the company accordingly, and. Um, it's certainly my 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 goal will be to go there as soon as possible, but as ready as possible too. Okay, uh, but it will it will definitely come if uh, it's a, just a matter of execution right now. And uh, for revenue break even, we are planning. I mean, again, there is so many changes. You know, we are actually what consider a high growth company. As you know, it's so difficult to plan anything when you're in high growth. <laughs> Because the things can change, you know, very rapidly, you know, an opportunity. Uh, but by the end of uh, 2020, I would say six, we should start considering actually uh, getting close to uh, break even. Well, on that note, very exciting. We've watched you. Uh, we've watched you and Quantum Emotion evolve over the last several years. Francis, mm -hmm. thank you so much for the update. I recommend everybody go to the following website to receive your latest updates and subscribe to the Quantum Emotion newsletter. Thank you, Francis. Thank you to you and a pleasure and have a nice day. Bye.